Good evening, everyone. Paulette Kluge, the former head of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, resigned in part because of a deal that she made with the Selena Foundation. Yeah, that deal to pay the foundation $50,000 from this year's Fiesta de la Flor, well, it was back on the table today. Now, as we mentioned there at the top, the message from the Quintanilla family was clear. No deal, no Fiesta. Chris 6 News reporter Greg Chandler was at that meeting and Greg, even though the CVB voted yes, it doesn't necessarily guarantee the future of the event. It really doesn't, Mike. That's up to the Selena Foundation and the Quintanilla family. One thing is, is, is clear though, if Fiesta, if Fiesta de la Flor comes back for a sixth year in Corpus Christi, there will be major changes. While the CVB board didn't know about the deal it's now former CEO made with the Quintanilla family, the decision to pay the $50,000 was about honoring commitments. It's not so much that they were insistent on receiving that money. It was an agreement that was made and we wanted to make sure that we took care of that responsibility. The CVB estimates Fiesta de la Flor is worth tens of millions of tourism dollars to Corpus Christi every year. But for next year, it's not yet money in the bank. As of now, the 2020 Fiesta is far from guaranteed. We will set up a meeting with the Quintanilla family and they will let us know if they're actually interested in moving forward. If the parties decide to move forward, the CVB wants to take on a lesser role. It's a very, very big undertaking. So we have had struggles with making sure we had enough staff, we had enough volunteers, just all the logistics that goes into it. The CVB's idea, find an outside company interested in working with the Quintanilla family to stage and manage Fiesta de la Flor. That would really take the CVB out of it financially, um, production wise. We would just be that facilitator to bring the two um, organizations together. Now I called the Quintanilla's production company for reaction this afternoon, but was told nobody was available. Mike. All right, thank you for that, Greg. The other big item on the CVB board's agenda was to name an interim replacement for Kluge as CEO. Their pick, Downtown Management District Executive Director Alyssa Barrera Mason. She led the DMD since February of 2018 and before that worked as the city's first business liaison. Mason will continue with the Downtown Management District while also serving as the CVB's interim CEO. She says she is looking forward to the challenge both roles bring. I'm excited to be able to help both organizations, maybe sacrificing a little bit of personal time during this period, but I think that we'll be able to keep both of organizations running efficiently and, and improving uh, performance while we, while we do this transition.